Welcome to episode 173 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today we're talking about what I've learned from being married for 19 years. Every single one of them. We're making our way through the fog of life and Clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. All right, I thought that this would be a good week to give a little bit of honor and commemoration to the fact that I've been married to my beautiful wife, Sarah, for 19 years years as of this week. Actually, our anniversary was on Memorial Day. So May 31st just happened to fall on Memorial Day this week. So we had a day off and our anniversary. And let me just say, it was unlike any anniversary I've had before. We are foster parents. We're about to adopt uh, the first foster baby we ever took in. So we're about to adopt this beautiful little boy. And we got a call just a, a couple of weeks ago saying, would you take in another newborn? We need someone for him to be with for six weeks. And he, we need someone who can stay home all day with him. And my wife stays home with the kids. Uh, she homeschools them. She's amazing. We'll get to her in a second. Uh, we took in this other beautiful little boy, newborn. And so it's May 31st. It's our 19th anniversary. And we have a house full of beautiful children, one of which is a newborn, really making it so we couldn't go or do much. So uh, we had some breakfast together and took, took a walk and, and had a great time. That really got me thinking of what marriage actually is and what I've actually learned over the last 19 years just because of the level of the 19th anniversary that we had. Let's, I thought maybe I could share a little bit because, and there are some people that have been married longer than me, people that have been married uh, for less years, people that haven't been married. But regardless of what your situation is, I always like it when people share with me their experience from some time. Like, I don't really care what you've learned from the last 15 minutes of doing anything. I mean, maybe there's a little something in there, but really I want to learn from people and hear people's experience that have had like kind of the ups and downs. So for whatever it's worth, I thought I'd share some of those today with you in the hopes that maybe it'll it'll help you calibrate your life and what you want, your relationships, et cetera, et cetera. You know how this goes. So um, the first thing that I've learned after 19 years of marriage is I... I am not the most important person. <laughs> and I know that might be hard to believe, but um, I was raised in a family of four sisters. So I was the only son. I was the second born, but I was the first boy and only boy. So obviously there's some benefits that come along with that when it comes to uh, the perception of whether or not you've come to save this entire world from all of its problems. And so uh, I was always the responsible kid. I was outgoing, big surprise, right? Responsible and outgoing and just, you start to believe your own press, like that things kind of revolve around you. And you know, funny thing about getting married is that you realize really quickly, or at least I realized really quickly, that I'm incredibly selfish. And this wasn't isn't something that actually came out the first year. It was really a progression of probably the first 10 years until I realized, oh, actually, this is real. And then it probably took the next nine years for me to actually get that sucker under wraps a little bit. And hopefully, hopefully, I'm making more progress in that. But, you know, something changes when you have someone else to be responsible for. It changes when you have start having children. Little by little, you realize that things aren't about you. They're about others. So although I try to be open-handed, although I try to give, there's a lot of deep selfishness that only... Someone that cares about me as enough as my wife can help reveal. Let's talk about my wife for a second. Sarah Daly is the most amazing woman on the planet. When I think, I look at her now and I just think that is a virtuous woman. I mean, you look at her and you're like, that is a beautiful woman. I still think that every single day, but virtuous. I feel like there's a big lack of virtuous women in this world. I mean, there are a lot of virtuous women, don't get me wrong, but she has such a deep virtue to watch the way she cares about other people deeply, to watch the way that she cares about our children. She literally has taught me how you can love a child so deeply and fully that you are willing to get in the trenches when you need to get in the trenches, that you're willing to sit and snuggle and love when you need to do that. She's taught me so much about what it is to be a mother, what it is about to be um, just something innately built 
into her. Second thing I learned is that this progress is a windy road. A lot of think, people think about progress, especially in this get it now culture. You think, well, I'm not successful yet. It's been like two days I've been doing this and I'm still not successful. What the heck? And I would say that marriage, 19 years of marriage have taught me that progress is not a straight line. Progress is twists and turns and ups and downs and stalls and restarts and stalls and restarts. So I've really come to adopt the phrase, never straight, always forward. I didn't come up with that. I heard it somewhere. But never straight, always forward. When you're moving forward toward anything that's meaningful, especially relationship, progress is never straight. Progress has heartache. Progress has hurt. Progress has grief and walking through it and getting through it. Progress means experiencing loss. Progress means experiencing joy and celebration and, and monumental things together. But progress is never straight. It's a windy road. So if you're on the windy road right now, don't spend so much time as you go, why is it this way? It was supposed to be so perfect. 19 years have taught me it's not perfect. It's never perfect. It's a windy road. It's never straight. But guess what? It's worth it. I can tell you it's worth it. The third thing, um, this is really goes with the progress being a windy road. Grace is the grease in the wheels. You need grace if you're going to make progress through a windy road. My wife has given me so much grace over the years. And without that grace, the wheels stop. They grind to a halt. They catch on fire from the friction and they blow apart. Right? We live in a culture and an age when half of marriages don't work. Half of marriages end. And a lot of times that's because of lack of grease, lack of grace in the wheels, not recognizing it's a windy road, not recognizing or realizing or fully embracing that till death do us part, not just saying it, but learning it and sticking with it. Now, I'm not saying that if you've been divorced or if your relationship is broken up, that like, oh my gosh, like you're a terrible person. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just sharing what I've learned and uh, on how to keep it together for 19 years. And finally, I've realized that together is definitely, definitely better. I'm stealing that phrase from my boy, Simon Sinek, but it's really true. Together is better. Human beings are wired to walk through things together, to gather together, to become better when we're together, to sharpen one another through care and through grace and through persistence and understanding that it's not always about us, understanding that it's not always going to be straight. It's always going to be forward and believing that and embracing that. And 19 years of marriage have, have turned me into a much softer person. I have a long, 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 long way to go still. But I'll tell you what, I can't wait for the next 19 years. But I'll tell you, at 42, if you're in your 20s or your 30s or you're thinking about getting married or you're thinking about relationships, or you're, let me just tell you that it's worth it, that life gets so much richer as you get older. Now there's an element of, you know, when being young wanting to absorb and get all the experiences and get the volume in. But let me tell you on the other side of the volume, there's a depth if you lean into it. There's a depth if you slow down and look at it. The most meaningful things have been the deep things, not the volume of things. So in this pursuit of doing more, 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 I was missing the depth. And my wife, Sarah, has taught me and continues to teach me the depth and the meaning of life. So after 19 years, these are the things I've learned. I hope that you can pull away something from these 19 years that make you think a little bit more critically, that maybe provide a little more clarity on what it is that you want, where it is that you want to go, or understanding where you are on the map so that you can know which steps will be the best next steps. So Sarah, I love you with all of my heart. I can't wait for the next 19 years. I can't wait till the 20th because we're going to do something awesome next year. But we do something awesome every single day with the beautiful life you have created for me and with me. I love you. For all of you out there that are listening to the podcast or watching this content, um, I hope that you will lean into things that provide for you not only today, but in the future. And in doing so, provide for many, 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 many other people. Until next week, I hope you will pursue clarity. We can